Did you know that scientists have revealed that AI robots have found precious compounds? So does that mean that there is a possibility that humans can breathe on Mars? This is Explorium, and welcome to our channel. In this video, we're diving into the world of interplanetary chemistry, where an AI chemist discovered a molecule that can make oxygen on Mars. Also, NASA's latest revelations from the Martian surface, where the Perseverance rover has uncovered new evidence about the intriguing presence of organic molecules. On November 13th, scientists revealed a groundbreaking achievement where an AI-powered robot chemist, using meteorites from Mars, successfully synthesized compounds with the potential to generate oxygen from water. This discovery holds immense significance for future crewed missions to Mars. Oxygen is crucial for astronauts to breathe and is a vital component of rocket fuel. To make these missions economically feasible, Researchers are exploring innovative approaches, and one promising strategy is utilizing resources already present on the Red Planet to produce oxygen. This approach avoids the logistical challenge of transporting large quantities of oxygen and its production materials from Earth. The enthusiasm for this idea stems from Mars's substantial reserves of frozen water ice. Since water is comprised of hydrogen and oxygen, scientists actively seek ways to extract the latter element from these Martian reserves. Catalysts, a class of compounds that can trigger chemical reactions, play a pivotal role in this process. Specifically, these catalysts can facilitate the splitting of water molecules, generating oxygen and hydrogen gas. This breakthrough opens up new avenues for harnessing Martian resources to meet the oxygen needs of the future of Mars missions. In a recent study, scientists conducted groundbreaking experiments with an AI chemist to create water-splitting catalysts. What sets this study apart is that these experiments were conducted using materials sourced directly from Mars, specifically focusing on five distinct categories of Martian meteorites, rocks that have journeyed to Earth following cosmic impacts on the Red Planet. The AI chemist, equipped with a robot arm, skillfully collected samples from these Martian meteorites. Subsequently, a laser was deployed to scan the ore, allowing the AI to embark on a complex analysis. The AI calculated an impressive array of over 3.7 million molecules achievable from six metallic elements present on the rocks – iron, nickel, manganese, magnesium, aluminum, and calcium. Remarkably, within six weeks and entirely devoid of human intervention, the AI chemist undertook the selection, synthesis, and testing of 243 different molecules. The standout performer among them was a catalyst capable of splitting water at the bone-chilling temperature of minus 34.6 degrees Fahrenheit, reminiscent of the cold Martian environment. And to keep exploring more, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Jun Jing, co-senior author of the study and a scientist at the University of Science and Technology of China in Hefei, shared a personal connection to the achievement. When I was a boy, I dreamed of interstellar exploration, he told Space.com. So when we finally saw that the catalyst made by the robot could actually produce oxygen by splitting water molecules, I felt like my dream was coming true. I even started to imagine that I, myself, will live on Mars in the future. This sentiment reflects the profound impact of the AI chemist's success and the exciting possibilities it opens up for the future of interplanetary exploration. The researchers calculated that by employing a traditional trial and error method, it would have taken a human scientist approximately 2,000 years to discover the most effective catalyst found by the AI chemist. It's mind-blowing to know how far AI has come in such a short time. Despite achieving this impressive time-saving feat, Jun Zhang highlighted a vital point. Human guidance plays a crucial role in shaping the intelligence of AI in scientific endeavors. Zhang asserts that the remarkable outcomes of the AI chemist can be attributed solely on the instructions provided by humans. The researchers are now focused on expanding the AI chemist's capabilities. They aim to assess its performance under Martian conditions that differ significantly from Earth, considering factors such as atmospheric composition, air density, humidity, and gravity. This exploration into unfamiliar Martian environments marks the next step in harnessing the potential of AI for interplanetary scientific exploration. The detailed findings of this groundbreaking study were published online in the journal Nature Synthesis. Growing evidence suggests the potential existence of organic molecules on Mars, a possible hint at past or present life. On the other hand, recently, NASA's Perseverance rover has been instrumental in uncovering this mystery, especially the findings from its Sherlock instrument. Mounted on the rover's robotic arm, Sherlock conducts detailed mappings and analysis of organic molecules. 
the rover explored two geological formations on the floor of Jezero Crater, a site where a lake existed in the distant past. Sherlock's investigation spanned 10 different locations, revealing traces of organic molecules in various rock samples. Some of these samples are being considered for future retrieval to Earth for more in-depth analysis. However, it is essential to note that the presence of organic molecules doesn't conclusively prove the existence of past or present life on Mars. Scientists emphasize that non-biological processes are still a more plausible explanation. Organics are the molecular building blocks of life as we know it, but can also be formed from geological processes not directly related to life. We see multiple signals that appear to vary across the formations of the crater floor and in the minerals that they are associated with, explained astrobiologist Sunanda Sharma from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, who is the lead author of the research published in the journal Nature this week. The intricate analysis carried out by Sherlock is shedding light on the complex nature of these organic molecules and their distribution within the Martian landscape. While the findings fuel excitement about the possibility of life on the Red Planet, Scientists maintain a cautious approach, acknowledging the need for further exploration and analysis before making any definitive conclusions. The Perseverance rover, which embarked on a mission to uncover clues of ancient life on Mars and gather rock and soil samples for potential return to Earth, touched down in February of 2021 at the intriguing Jezero Crater. This location, nestled in Mars's northern hemisphere, was once a watery haven hosting an ancient lake basin. Contrary to Mars's current desolate state, there was a time when liquid water flowed across its surface. Scientists speculate that microbial life might have thrived in Jezero Crater, where river channels cascaded over the crater's rim, shaping a lake over 3.5 billion years ago. The rover's destination promises to unveil secrets from Mars's water-rich past. The Sherlock instrument, aptly named Scanning Habitable Environments with Ramen and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals, played a pivotal role in this exploration. Examining 10 locations on the crater floor, Sherlock uncovered signals of organic molecules in the igneous rocks formed through volcanic processes. These findings are crucial in the quest to understand whether microbial life once inhabited this Martian locale. Sherlock is no ordinary investigator. It utilizes a suite of tools, including cameras, lasers, and spectrometers, which analyze light wavelengths. This comprehensive approach aims to identify organic molecules that could indicate past microbial activity. The rover is assisted by Watson, a color camera adopting the Sherlock Holmes theme, providing close-up images of rock grains and surface textures. As the rover drove deeper into the mysteries of the Jezero Crater, it expanded our knowledge of Mars's ancient environments. It raises the tantalizing prospect of uncovering evidence that life, in some form, may have left its mark on the Red Planet. The collaboration between technology and scientific curiosity continues to unravel the Martian landscape's secrets. While the researchers are still in the dark about the specific organic compounds detected by Sherlock, there are some intriguing clues to consider. According to Ryan Roppel, a study co-author and graduate student in chemistry at the University of Pittsburgh, the chemical signatures might be linked to compounds like benzene and naphthalene. On Earth, these compounds are commonly found in crude oil with a biological origin. However, Roppel points out that they can also be produced synthetically through various chemical reactions. The concentrations of these compounds on Mars are generally low, but what's fascinating is that signals associated with organics have been identified on nearly every rock sampled by the rover. Roppel also highlights the possibility that some of the signals indicating organic molecules might have inorganic, or metal, sources. It adds a layer of complexity to the puzzle, emphasizing the need for careful consideration in interpreting the data. The detection of organic molecules on Mars is not a new phenomenon. The Curiosity rover first identified signs of these molecules in 2015, and subsequent years have brought forth additional evidence. Now, with Perseverance contributing its findings, a pattern is emerging, suggesting that organic molecules may be relatively common on Mars, albeit at low levels. Despite the accumulating evidence, the researchers maintain a cautious stance Roppel underscores the importance of considering biotic, or life-related, and abiotic, non-life-related, mechanisms in forming organic molecules. Factors like interplanetary dust, meteorite infall, or water-rock interactions can generate organics without the involvement of life. Ruling out these abiotic mechanisms is crucial before entertaining the idea that organic molecules might indicate past or present life on Mars. 
The researchers emphasize a prudent approach, ensuring that all possibilities are explored before drawing any conclusions about the potential existence of life beyond Earth.